How are you guys doing today? Uh, today, I'm gonna take the bike for a ride and I'm gonna test this windshield. Uh, for a while, I've been considering uh, replacing my windshield, the current windshield that I have, which is this windshield. I think this is the brand that I purchased. I, bought, I purchased this about five years ago, I think. Five, four years ago. If I think it's long, uh, long right shield i think that's the brand and obviously coming from the uh, original harley windshield and coming going through this windshield it was a big difference but still wasn't 100 percent satisfied given the fact that i i you I, I ride with this type of helmet that's the this is the bell thing is the model uh, bell bullet I think that's the model. I currently own by three of these helmet. Uh, obviously, this one is made by Harley, but actually, it's a Bell helmet. Uh, I currently own about three of these. Uh, the one that I had before this, it was a black uh, glossy that got stolen at a gas station when I did the uh, Bring It Home uh, World Record. That's when it got stolen. And then I got this one. Uh, the problem that I have is that when I ride on the highway on a very you know uh, high speed you know 80 miles whatever I get a lot of dragging right here dragging and it gets and it gets annoying I guess uh, I guess sometimes I get a lot of vibration that time to time I have to tight the screws in here and I have actually I have to put um, a red uh, lock type on it to make sure that screws doesn't come out so on my last trip talking to my friend Corey I was uh, we were talking about shields and uh, he highly recommended this company which is Clockworks and it just happened that Corey had to change his seat to a hammock a Harley hammock and that brought it up so he had a changed his shield he went from a six and a half clockwork to an eight and a half and it just happened that he still had his six and a half given the fact he already found a buyer to to buy this six and a half but before giving it to the buyer he said he will lend it to me so i can try it and also, uh, a lot of the guys that I, uh, some of the guys that I follow on YouTube, it just happened that they're being switching to Clockwork, or they already have previous uh, reviews with this Clockwork um, shield, which pretty much everybody say great things about this shield. So he lent me this, so for me to try it, I already did the measurement. It looks like the six and a half is gonna work for me, but the main thing i want to do is that i want to do this test is to see if if it, she actually does what people say you know that makes a big difference also i want to make sure that it's a six and a half or the eight and a half is the one that is going to work for me i have a feeling the six and a half is going to be the one that is going to work for me so come along with the ride with me to see if if what well, actually people are talking about how good this shield is and it saved the six and a half. I'm hoping that this will solve the problem because there's nothing worse than going on a long trip that you put in 400 miles, 500 miles all day, especially highway and be on a, on a helmet that is dragging, the vibration. It's nothing worse than that. So I'm crossing my finger. I'm hoping that this you know, clockwork will do the trick. an hour uh, 78 for the GPS I could 
feel feel the wind right here, right here, right here. Feel it right there. Let me tell you, I feel a little less of a drag. If I go with my finger, I don't feel nothing. Like I don't feel, like if I go right here, I don't feel. Once I get right here, if you see, I don't know if you can see it, right there where my finger turns, that's what I feel the air. But right here, I don't feel it. I feel a little vibration here, but it's not that bad. Maybe, you know, for the previous trip, I need to retype my boat to here. You know, but I could say for this six and a half that I have, obviously for, it goes by individual, you know, for you it could be an eight and a half, for me it could be a six and a half, it's, it's something that you have to play by ear because also, obviously your height and your type of seat that you have is gonna make a big difference. And right now, my bike is a ultra limited low, but I have a hammock seat. I have a hammock seat, a hammock uh, Harley seat, which obviously brings me a little up. I noticed that when I switched from my, uh, from my Mustang seat, it brought me a little up. I don't know, probably an inch, half an inch. But definitely, with the shield down, I feel the drag, the noise of the dragging. going 70 with the shield down the helmet shield down I could still hear the drag I don't know that that's normal you know I this is kind of the main helmet that I have uh, this is kind of my full helmet I'm, I'm I haven't tried another full face helmet in years so I don't know if that's normal so I'm just saying from what I'm feeling right now right now I'm going 71 I'm gonna bring it to 80 for my personal use my the fuel of view is perfect but I get into dry I feel in the noise the dragging I don't know if that's normal I mean I could feel air going through here I could feel like right here I could feel it well right here, right here I can feel it. Okay, let me bring going 80. I can feel it right here. When I go right here, I'm right here. I can feel concentrated right here. As you can see it in my finger. I can feel the right right here hitting right here. So, obviously, everybody's different, and, and I'm pretty sure, given the fact, the type of helmet that I use, it will make an impact of where the dragging is going to start hitting, but if I bring my, if I bring the shield up, I don't, I don't hear the dragging. And, yeah, right here is where the hit. So, this is going 80. So 
I think, man, you know, definitely I feel a little different from the previous helmet, but I wish I could pump it up a little notch more on the dragging. But I feel right here, I could feel vibration right here. You know, where the action is going on right here. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a shot with the eight and a half. What I'm gonna do is I think this is a dark tint what I have right here. I'll probably go with the tint and I'm gonna gamble with the eight and a half. That's my personal you know, of me, but everybody's different. Like I say, I'm, I think I'm repeating myself too much. For being this low, you could feel that is it. You could feel the difference. I mean, if, if it does the job, it does the job. You know, definitely, it does the job. Probably, if I would have my most and see that is a little lower, it would take care of that problem. Which I still have it. I still got my muscle, see I haven't sold it. But I'm not gonna put it on because that's not gonna the seat that I'm gonna be riding all the time. So my personal preference, I'm gonna get with an eight and a half. That's it guys.